Hey guys, so today we have in our hands the first generation of HP Chromebook X360 14 inch which is a Chrome OS based laptop and yes, not many of you used or even knew about the Chrome OS so before we dive in this review of this laptop let's talk briefly on the OS first Google's Chrome OS is an alternative operating system like Windows and Mac OS. It's a great platform, but it has its pros and cons just like its rivals. It's developed and owned by Google and it's based on Linux. The big advantage of Chrome OS is that it's very simple to use. It has desktop environment similar to the one we have in a Windows machine. Chrome OS is mostly a web browser at its core, so if all you want to do with a laptop is browse the web, watch YouTube videos or play Android games and basically use the same apps you do on your phone, a Chrome OS device is definitely something to consider. Now, after we knew a little bit about the Chrome OS, let's talk about the device itself. We can see that HP is very gently attacking the world of Chromebooks in business with premium models and with great technical performances, and this is the case with this first generation of Chromebooks. HP has done a very good job with the design. It's simple, sleek, and sturdy. The Chromebook has sophisticated design with a silver aluminum frame and a black keyboard, which reminds us with the traditional MacBook aesthetic we see all too often. The lid has a matte aluminum finish that's disrupted by an HP logo centered with a chrome circle. Opening the lid reveals a top facing speaker grille under two chrome hinges. Those hinges rotate 360 degrees, transforming the Chromebook from a laptop into a tablet. It can also position the convertible into tent mode for presentation or watching movies without keyboard in the way. The Chromebook feels like a sturdy machine, so I wasn't surprised to learn that it passed several military tests, which means that this laptop can survive a higher temperature, unbearable humidity, and drop or two. The only downside of this design design is the bezels. You can see that the bezels are large when compared to other high-end Chromebooks, which makes the display doesn't have the same allure. Moving to the ports, we can see that the Chromebook has decent assortments of ports. On the right side of the chassis are a USB Type-C charging port, a USB 3.0 port, one slot for security lock next to buttons for volume management. The other side has a second USB Type-C charging port along with a headphone mic combo jack and a micro SD card slot. Those dual charging ports earn HP pops for giving you the option to plug in the X360 from either side. Now, as we make our way to the display, we have tested the laptop in multiple environments. The display did great when using it for watching movies or browsing the web inside the house, but unfortunately, the display didn't perform as well in the outside, and that's because of its brightness of just 214 nits which is very low and makes the laptop really difficult to use outside. On a positive note, the 14-inch 1080p touchscreen did an excellent and detailed job. It's responsive and accurately measures the pressure of the tabs so you won't have problems swiping through web pages and using the on-screen keyboard. Moving on to the keyboard, which I think it's one of the great keyboards out there. It looks like any other keyboard with backlit black keys and flat caps. But once you start typing, your fingers can instantly find the right keys thanks to their excellent spacing and large surface, and the keys are so comfortable to use. The same with the touchpad, which I find really really good. It's wide 4.7 by 2.4. It's perfect for executing Chrome OS gestures, like pinch to zoom with two fingers and switching between tabs with three finger swipes. The speakers of this Chromebook are very decent, and they sound really really good and easily fill a medium sized room with distortion free audio. Another great thing about this laptop is the button battery life. The battery life of this Chromebook is perfect and it's more than sufficient for a full work day, with a fantastic 12 hours and 45 minutes of battery life. Moving on to the webcam, which is especially important for business users as teleconferencing and remote work becomes more common, but unfortunately the 720p camera on the Chromebook didn't perform good in dim places, which is really a setback especially for this category of users. After we talked about each component, let's talk about the performance of this device. This HP Chromebook is one of the fastest Chrome OS laptops in there, but it depends on what configuration you want in, in your Chromebook. The higher the configuration is, the higher performance you get. Bottom line, we can find that on one hand, the Chromebook does so many things right, offering outstanding keyboard, long battery life and very fast performance, and yet it's hard for me to recommend this Chromebook because of its price which is a little expensive. 